YouTubers, this is just a little lost again, and I have a small haul and kind of an update on what I'm thinking about doing as far as my first series of tutorials I may be doing. So uh, first things first, I'll go through the haul of things I got today and take it from there. Um, I word about the lighting and the different location, I'm on the quest to find the right lighting. Uh, this is a little bit better than what I've been having, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, first thing is first. My favorite nail polish of all time. If you've been reading my, if you've been watching my videos, you guys know that this is my favorite nail polish. I was walking today, and I went to a salon, and not only do I have this one, I managed to find this one. I have two now. I'm so happy. Hold on. Baby! Baby! Kiki! Baby, come here! Dog's barking. Oh, stop it. Do you want to say hi? Come say hi. Come say hi. Oh, uh, I want to sit in my lap. You want to say hi? Say hi, baby. Yeah, you're such a lovely boy. Okay. You want, can I finish? Can I finish? He's like, no. I want to stay on your lap. <laughs> um, that was our dog, baby. Um, along with the nail polish. Hi, baby. Oh, nail polish. I got the Sashay Vite Top Coat. Can't really see that too well. Decided I'm going to try this, see if it's worth the hype that I've been hearing. And I'm being mopped by puppies. Um, and where did my palette go? There. And while I was at Ul Ulta today, I also decided to pick up the Stila Trend Setting in Tokyo. And I'm actually played around with it. The colors in this are actually really nice. Um, the palette looks like this. Cover the mirror. This is the Sakura three in uh, the convertible color. Then there's aha. This one is. I can't pronounce this blue. I'm gonna try. I'm sorry if I get it wrong. Don't shoot me. It is Shinibuya. Then there's whoopsies. Saki. Kawaii. And this black one. It just has a peace sign on the back. Right there. Doesn't tell me the name. But it's also very, very nice. Um, I'll do a quick swatch for you. This Sakura. I was actually surprised at how pigmented that one is. It's right there. This is the blue one. Blue eyeshadow. The swatch right next to it. The royal blue. It looks different in your hand or on your skin than in the pan. It's not a bad thing. It's also the only matte color in this collection. Up aside for the convertible color, it's the only matte eyeshadow. I had to work with it a little bit. I'm wearing it now. I'm just playing with it. It's not a bad color. Wearing this one on my brow bone is um, the Saki. It's a really pretty champagne neutral color. Kind of skin toned. Can't kind of see that very well. It's right there. It's a really nice highlight color. Then there's the pink. Really bright pink. I love that. Comes off as a baby blue pink. Hi, Kika. And the dog. <laughs> Wanna say hi too? Say hi. Say hi. I know. And then there's the black. And this black isn't matte. It has blue silver sparkles. 
I know, I know. Hey, don't lick my swatches. <laughs> They're after me. Um. Yeah. Don't do that. Why are you going after my thing? There it is. Chica's like, dress me up, dress me up. Say, no, puppy, don't get dressed up. And that's pretty much my mini haul. And for those of you who, I'm sorry, I didn't show a swatch, wants to see what Mad as a Hatter, the OPI nail collar I showed, this one, looks like I'm wearing it right now. Really pretty, love that color. Okay, okay, come on. Hey, come on. She's grumpy. <laughs> You're grumpy. And about the possible tutorial series that I'm thinking of doing. Um, ever since I was uh, really young, I liked looking at real at art, pictures, paintings. And I used to get ideas on how what makeup would look like or how to get dressed up or things like that from the painting. And lately I have found my old um art books that are that have artworks in it by Amy Brown who draws very very pretty um fairies and dragons and mermaids and things like that and she uses watercolor uh, I love the colors that she uses they're very bright and even her um colors even her paintings that have limited to very 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 few colors are really really interesting pieces and I think I could get some inspiration from that, not the exact scene, not the exact theme. <coughs> hey, hey, leave him alone. He sees like a squirrel outside and he wants to go chase it. I'm sorry. Right? You gonna get the squirrel? Don't get the squirrel. That's baby, by the way, barking. He likes to chase squirrels. <laughs> Cheeky, not you two. And, um,. I could possibly be doing that. There's a lot of reds and neutrals and brights, greens and turquoises, and it's a really, really pretty book. And I've been looking at it and was actually kind of interested in doing some looks on it from not only makeup looks, but um, hair and clothes and nail polish accessories that go with it. Like a part one would be the makeup and hair. And then part two would be like the accessories and clothes and feeling that would go probably well with the whole painting and complete the whole look of the inspired outfit. I don't know, just something I'm kicking around. I'll probably do that soon. Can you stop? Yeah. See? Say hi. Say hi again. She's like, no. <laughs> you saying hi, baby? Good oh boy. There she goes. <laughs> Um, so, I'll probably be starting those soon. I hope to get the first one out by Monday. I'm trying, like I said, to find better lighting. I don't think this is the lighting that I'm going to choose. I'll probably have to go with something else. Well, I hope to see you soon. Have a good na day, night, wherever you are. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know what you think mm -hmm. and what you'd like to see in my tutorials. And I hope to see you in my next video. Right, say bye, baby. Say bye-bye. Say bye. <laughs>